Hey everyone, this is Joe Magby. I teach people how to buy and sell real estate for a profit without risking their money or their reputation. Okay, this particular house here, by the way, if you see me looking off, it's because my computer is right there and I see the image there that you're seeing up here. Um, this house has got a, a pretty cool little story to it. It's in a, it's in a neighborhood that backs to a high school. Um, it's um, not in the greatest town in the world. Um, it's, a, it's a small town and it's not like everybody's dream town. Um, it's not like it's a war zone or anything like that, but it's just not the most desirable town. Uh, it's a couple of, it, it's in between where my office complex is and Savannah. So um, this town's called Garden City. Now, this is a nice little three bedroom, one bath house. Now, one bath is kind of a kiss of death if you were really out there looking to try to decide what you're going to invest in. Well, <clears throat> remember, I'm only sticking $10. So my ROI on all of my properties is astronomical. You know, people look for a 15% or 25% return on their investment capital and they they feel like they're doing great. Well, ours is in the our ROI is in the thousands of percent, many, many thousands. Um, but, you know, I'll risk 10 bucks on a deal like this all day long. Now, the thing that's a little bit um, helpful to this property is that it has a, a garage that's enclosed, and my guess is that the garage was off to, yeah, the garage was off to the right. Um, so it was enclosed, so it's just like the rest of the inside of the house, so it's kind of like a family room that's in there. Well, it's a three-bedroom, one-bath house that can easily become a four-bedroom, two-bath house by taking that enclosed garage and make it in a fourth bedroom and a master bathroom. Um, the, it's on a concrete slab, so you got a little bit of digging under the slab if you decide to run your plumbing that way. One of the things that can be done with the plumbing on this house is you can put in place what's called a back flush toilet. So instead of the toilet flushing down, which would be under the slab, you know, it's where the plumbing would run in and out, you can uh, put a back flush toilet in where it flushes directly out the back of the toilet and then let that line come straight out of the house then drop straight down underground and then come to the front yard come around the house into the front yard where the sewer line comes into the house and then tie it in that way. So you can run your your um, tub, shower, sinks, uh, toilet, everything uh, through that. The shower you'd have to put up on just a little bit of a pedestal so that um, a platform so that the shower would still have the um, pee trap underneath of it to to block the smell of the sewage coming back up into the house just like all sinks and showers and all have tubs have but the thing about this house is a, a couple owns it that used to live in it many many years ago and then they can they moved out of it and they converted it to a rental property well, they got tired of the rental business. Um, I'd rather have two root canals without Novocaine than to do the rental business the way they were doing it, uh, the way most landlords do it. But um, the, the house is free and clear, so they came to us to see if we could do something for them by seeing our, our marketing. And um, I marketed the house. Like I said, it's, got a, it's one bath, so that's not an attractive feature. It's not in the most prestigious uh, city in, in the world either. So that's a neg other negative. So it took us about, I think it took us about 45 or 60 days to find an end buyer. We, we had probably 80 people look at that place. Um, once we found the end buyer, we put them in place and uh, with a, an agreement. And then we went back to the seller and said, here's what we can do. And so we ended up actually, uh, we're, we're going to closing on this. This is just, this is a brand new deal. But we're fixing to go to closing on it. Uh, we're buying this house. I definitely want to own this house because of my terms with my seller. So I'm buying it seller financed for $25,000. My monthly payments are $250 a month with no interest. And so that house will be paid off in a little over eight years with my end buyer's money. Um, but the entire time, my cash flow on that will be, I don't know, somewhere around 700 So we use all the numbers based on the picture there. But it's a really sweet deal to set stuff like that in place. If I hadn't found that end buyer, I know all day long I can rent it for seven or eight hundred dollars a month. So it's worth it to me to spend two fifty to get back eight. Okay.